welcome to chemistry lover and in this video i am going to discuss about one of the very important name reaction the oxidation reaction of alcohol and that is bubbler oxidation okay so this is a rearrangement reaction and i will discuss this reaction in the form of this mcq question so this is our question and after discussing this question i will also present two important examples of the same reaction so uh, in the question you can see you have to convert this carbonyl compound to this alpha beta unsaturated aldehyde and you have given all these four options so you have to predict which is the correct option if you look carefully the first option is the wittig reaction condition which in theory can give this product from this similarly in option three you can see the aldol reaction between this uh, acetaldehyde and this ketone can also give this compound and option two is actually the bubbler reaction so you can uh, guess that that this will also give the same compound so in theory all four options uh, all three options will give the required or uh, our um, our targeted product but in practice if you want to do the reaction you have some difficult you, you will face some difficulties with option one and three so that's why all three options are correct this cannot be the right option so in this case option two is the correct answer now before discussing about option two and the bubbler reaction let me tell you why option one and three are not suitable in this case so in option one a wittig reaction condition is given but if you look carefully in the wittig salt this is the wittig salt given in the wittig salt itself you have a carbonyl group the aldehyde group so there is a possibility of self wittig right and that will lower down the yield of your reaction so this, ca this cannot be a good choice uh, as a reaction similarly in option three it is not a directed aldol reaction it is a simple aldol reaction with sodium hydroxide aldol condensation and there are several possibilities self aldol cross aldol so you will get different byproducts and that's that will lower down your reaction so now we are left out with only option two and i will now uh, discuss option two in detail and that is the bubbler oxidation reaction so this is our uh, substrate the ketone given first it is treated with this uh, this vinyl magnesium bromide the greek nerd and that will do a addition reaction to give you this alcohol so this is three degree allyl alcohol or tertiary allyl alcohol and this tertiary allyl alcohol is actually the substrate for the bubbler reaction so what happens here is first it will form a chromate ester with pcc so now in place of pcc for simplicity we will write down cro3 right so this is basically cro3 complex to with uh, chromium uh, with pyridine so we can write as a cro3 so it will first form the chromate ester as usual what happens for normal alcohols so this is how it will form the chromate ester right so this is how it will form the chromate ester and here you have this now if you look carefully this is one two three similarly this is one two three so there is a three three arrangement and possibility of three three sigma tropic rearrangement now this is how the sigma tropic rearrangement will take place to give you a rearranged substrate which will look like this so you can see this is how it will look like so here you have this uh, co this um, another uh, car another o and this oh so this is how it will look like right now after formation of this this so this is a rearranged chromate ester right so in normal uh, al alcohol oxidation after formation of this chromate ester here generally you have one hydrogen and that hydrogen ab abstraction takes place and you get the carbonyl compound but in this case the hydrogen ab abstraction will take place from this rearranged chromate ester so this is the hydrogen which will be abstracted like this 
and you will generate carbonyl group over here so here you are generating carbonyl group and this is how you can get the required aldehyde so this is the bubbler oxidation reaction this is the mechanism and you can see there is a no possibility of side product so you will only get this product as your uh, only one option so there is no side product and this is a good choice for uh, the particular reaction right so that's why option 2 is the correct answer now let us uh, show you another example of the same reaction so this is a substrate where you have double bond over here and this is carbonyl compound so this is alpha beta unsaturated ketone when it is treated with methyl lithium a hard uh, alkylating agent it will do one to addition to give you this product and now PCC in presence of so in this case substrate uh, the solvent is CH2Cl2 so this is the usual bubbler reaction condition and it will give carbonyl group over here so this is another example of bubbler reaction so from here the oxygen transfer to here and carbonyl group generated so this is the reaction of alloy tertiary allylic alcohol now the next example is particularly interesting because uh, here so this is the substrate first it is treated with vinyl magnesium bromide the vinyl greek nerd uh, which will give you this now when this is subjected to uh, bubbler reaction two possibilities are there either the rearrangement reaction can occur on this side or on this side and whatever i found in the book is the rearrangement occur on the more substituted side to give you this as the major product now why this is the case i don't know it is not mentioned in the book if you have uh, if you know the explanation let me know in the comment section and if i find any explanation i will definitely let you know so uh, you just have to remember that it happens in the more substituted side and not in the less substituted side so these are some examples of the bubbler oxidation bubbler uh, rearranged oxidation i hope that you will find this video helpful if you like this video give a thumbs up share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe this channel thank you for watching